today's topic of discussion is about queue so we will look at how to implement queue in different uh, possibilities because it can be it can have different implementations so in queue we know that the values that comes first should be removed or dequeue first right so we will look at uh, different implementation of the queue so it can be implemented using arrays or two stacks or ring buffer or double linked list or you can have your own implementation because it's all about arranging the data in a particular order so what's the difference of like implementing an array stack ring buffer actually the difference is about the performance performance of it might be like some of the implementation can have better time and uh, memory efficiency and some can have not that good okay so let's start with the simple discussions about the syntax that I am using here so let's start with the protocol so for now I have what I have done is I have created a protocol name as Q so okay what is protocol that's a good question so in Swift we whenever we want to define certain requirement that our class or structure should implement then we can define those requirements in protocol so in general if you want to understand this let's say you want to tell your class that you have to come with certain dress code so this is a kind of rule right so in order to write rules for our classes or structures we use protocols in Swift so I've created a protocol name is Q general the name should be in way like Q uh, protocol or something that should be better so for now it's just a Q so it's a protocol it's not a data structure make sure I'm clearing it so it's a Q protocol so what is the requirement here so first requirement is it should have a associated type it should have a mutating function in Q it should have mutating function DQ then peak and then a variable that indicates whether the queue is empty or not okay so this protocol I have already defined here this protocol is used to define the requirements which can be implemented by structures classes or enums okay okay now come on to the main part so this is our data structure so I have using I have used a struct I have already described in my previous video that why we are using a struct here this queue array is uh, so since it's an array based implementation I am naming this data structure as a queue array and uh, it implements the protocol queue as well as custom string convertible I have already discussed about it in my previous videos okay now we have a variable value of an uh, type of array right of whatever data type we will provide here now what in queue function is doing it's a simple uh, array appending in array so whatever the value will be passed in the in queue parameter we will append it in the array right now one question is here what is this syntax so this is I guess second question yeah what is this underscore in the parameter declaration so in Swift whenever we define any parameter by default this is a named parameter what is your name parameter name parameter means whenever you will be calling this in queue function you have to first name the parameter like element then you have to pass the value right but using this underscore we tell that we won't be passing the name of this parameter for example let's say the in queue where we have called this in queue this is in queue right we, we are not passing the name of the parameter let's remove this underscore now you can see the error what is the error missing argument level so we have to pass the label of the argument and that is element right so that's why I'm, I'm using the underscore because we don't want to pass the name of the parameter every time fine okay so now moving next this DQ what is DQ is doing so DQ is just checking that if uh, the array is not empty then remove the value from the first what is the meaning of the remove first so what this function is doing this function will DQ the element from the starting of the array not from the end of the array because that's what Q means Q means whenever you will remove removal should happen from the first end and uh, I mean starting end and whenever you 
insert or in queue an element it should be in the last right so what the remove first is doing remove first removes the element from the array and shift the complete array right so it's a little costly operation that's why we will look at the other implementation of the queue because every time whenever you will be removing element from the array from the uh, starting point you have to rearrange the array right now this is a peak function that returns the first value first means which is in the starting of the array because that's what queue means and then it is a is empty function uh, sorry uh, variable that just return us the true or false with depends on the element of the array and here is a simple imp implementation so what we have done we have created a variable queue of uh, integer type so it's in queue array i mean array based implementation of the queue and then we insert one two three four five six then we should print it yep so here is a you can see that when we added the element so it's in the form of queue whoever is added first it's in the first in the list and uh, then second third four five six now if we should dequeue then the dequeue should happen from the top end and it has to shift the array now play uh, start this you can see that first element has been removed so this is a simple uh, array based queue implementation now let's come to the conclusion so it has some disadvantage that i already told you that whenever you will be removing the element it should have to rearrange the complete array because the removal should happen from the top of the starting of the array right one benefit is whenever you are in queuing an element it's a simple uh, in average case it's a one operation right which means that you can directly insert an element without any other operation right so for practice just implement this uh, in your own playground and then try to improve it uh, try to improve the dq operation with whatever logics come at you okay we'll look at other implementation in the next video thank you